In Israel, people are calling on the government to do more for the release of the hostages. According to Israeli authorities, during the October 7th attack by Hamas, 257 people were abducted in total. 110 have been released alive and 11 bodies retrieved. Israel believes 136 hostages are still held in Gaza, though it suspects some of them are dead. Tens of thousands of Israelis have gathered in protest in Tel Aviv, demanding the release of hostages held by Hamas. The protesters are marking 100 days since Hamas took the hostages during the October 7th attacks. Israelis are calling on their government to do more for the release of the hostages, who include civilians and Israeli soldiers. Israel's military campaign has damaged or destroyed around half of Gaza's buildings and displaced almost two million people. Some Israelis have doubts about the way the war is being carried out, but Israel has vowed to press on with its military campaign to eliminate Hamas. For the people of Gaza, the last 100 days have been nothing short of a disaster. Many have lost not just their homes, livelihoods and loved ones but also any hope that life can ever return to normal. A tragic, catastrophic, indescribable situation. Everyone saw thousands of martyrs and wounded. Those who were not martyred were wounded. Who wasn't wounded had their home destroyed. Those who didn't lose their homes were displaced. No one in Gaza has been untouched by the conflict. This family say they used to be wealthy. But like thousands of other Gazans, they've been forced to flee. And now they're making pastries to survive. Just 100 days ago, we were living in paradise on earth. We had buildings, houses and possessions. We enjoyed a wonderful, luxurious life. Since the start of the war, we've lost everything. Our homes, our possessions, everything. In Israel, too, the pain is real. Despite efforts to chase it away at this rave in Tel Aviv. It's one of a number of events taking place to mark the 100th day since the terrorist attack and to plead for the return of the more than 100 hostages still being held in Gaza, including one of the youngest abductees. Is it possible to make something to free them from the Hamas, to bring him and his family back to Israel to celebrate the birthday with his family? Is it possible? Israel's government says it will push ahead with its campaign until the hostages have been returned and its other war aims have been achieved, including the elimination of Hamas and the threat it poses to the Jewish state. With no end in sight, it seems the suffering is set to continue. All right, let's uh, speak now to DW correspondent Tanya Kramer, who joins us from Jerusalem. Tanya, great to see you. So it's been 100 days since the war between Israel and Hamas began. Thousands of people have died in that time. Tell us what the atmosphere is like in Israel at this uh, grim milestone. Well, I think it really depends who you ask here. And I talked to some people here uh, this morning in Israel. There's really a somber mood, a sad mood as well. Um, people are having, you know, they said to me, mixed feelings about uh, still uh, people are saying, you know, what happened on October 7 took away their sense of safety uh, and uh, security. A lot of questions uh, being asked about how uh, that could happen. But also, of course, now about the war, there's a lot of focus, of course, in Israel, what's happening uh, uh, in in the fighting every morning uh, there are news of soldiers that have been killed uh, in uh, Gaza and the fighting there's a bit less focus on what's happening on the civilian population side in uh, Gaza here in the reporting and of course a lot of focus is still as you said uh, on the hostages uh, it's believed that 136 hostages are uh, still in Gaza and people are really asking uh, what is being done to bring them home Tanya, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said Israel will continue its war against Hamas until they are victorious and they won't be stopped by anyone. Is this a stance that has wide support in Israel? 
I think it still does have uh, broad support, at least when you're looking at polls and surveys, that people do uh, support uh, the war efforts. But of course, there are also uh, other people who are saying, you know, Israel needs to look at what, what will happen next. And of course, there's also the sense that this uh, war in Gaza, while it is continuing, there are other threats, especially also when you look at the northern border, uh, uh, the uh, cross-border fire that has been intensifying or appears to have been intensifying in the past weeks between Israel uh, and uh, Hezbollah. But at the same people, at the same time, you know, there are also a lot of people that are still displaced uh, in, in, in the south uh, alongside the, the Gaza uh, border area, but also in the north. And these people are still also in, host in, 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 in hotels here and they have not been uh, able to go home. But also what we are seeing, there's of course question asked where this will going and also the question about responsibility um, because Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has not taken responsibility what happened on October 7th and uh, according to polls a lot of people uh, would like to see elections once this war will end. Thanks Tanya. TW correspondent Tanya Craner in Jerusalem for us.